Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me. We're looking at question number 19 on the Grade 7 Gauss from the year 2008. Hopefully you've given this one a bit of a try. Uh, question 19 concerns a 4x4 four four square grid, uh, which can be covered entirely by three non-overlapping pieces made from 1x1 one one squares. If the first two pieces are this fella and this, this sort of horseshoe thing, the third piece is, and we're given some possibilities. Okay. So, uh, well, I'm going to, I suppose, <clears throat> draw a 4x4 four four grid. All right, so we'll, we'll assume that's my 4x4 four four grid. And what are my pieces? So there was sort of a gun shape almost. And then there was the horseshoe. Now, they don't have to be put together like this. You know, we could rotate and, and fit some things in. Uh, but what draws my eye quite uh, immediately is the fact that we've got sort of a width of four here. So this piece is probably going to be important to place. He's, I mean, we, we can place it horizontally. It's only got a few places to go. We could go sort of here. Or really, we could shift it down by a few. It could be in the red spot. Or it could be in the green spot. And let me just pause for a second and say... Some of you who are quite good with spatial awareness, you're able to just sort of look at the possibilities and have it like that. Uh, but what if we weren't so good with that? What would we do? What would we identify? And more importantly, if this were a harder version of the question, how would we go about doing it if we can't just mentally fit it all in? So I focus on the fact that there's a row of four. That f sort of forces this thing to be in, in some particular locations, as opposed to this horseshoe piece, which if I draw just sort of a very quick, smaller grid, the horseshoe piece can go in lots of places. Uh, we won't shade, but it, you know, it can go here, or it can go here, it can go here, it can go here. There's lots of places, but this this one here is it's just is it in the first row, second row, or third row? That's about it. And you know, if if we're able to have a real intuition about something, congratulations. But if we're stuck, well, we've only got three possibilities. Let's try them out and see where. Uh, this horseshoe might be able to fit. And if it is able to fit somewhere, uh, is it forced to go in a certain place? Are there only a few options? And what are the pieces left over? Okay. So I'm going to put uh, this this gun piece. I'll put him here. So that's filled in. And we ask, where can the horseshoe go? Uh, we'll put him here. And ask, where can the horseshoe go? And yes, I know he could uh, sort of go like this. But that's just rotating the, you know, it's a, it's a square. We can just rotate it and get the same results. It's the first piece we're placing. So why don't we just place him horizontally? Okay. Now, when I look at these options, I immediately don't like this one. Because it's sort of got these two pieces down here. They're sort of sequestered away. And, yeah, I can put the horseshoe in in lots of places. But it's not going to take up everything, so we're going to have two disconnected pieces, whereas the question specifically said, you know, there's just a third piece. Okay, so this one's sort of out. Now, this one here, well, we've got this nice line up here, but there's no way to fit the horseshoe here. So the horseshoe would have to fit down here, and there really isn't a way to do that. It sort of does something like that, but then it overlaps, or it does something like this, and it overlaps. So this one's out as well. So our grid has to look like this. And now where can the horseshoe go? Well, the horseshoe can go well here, but then that cuts this piece off. So, okay, maybe not that. Um, what else could we have? We could have it go something like this, but it cuts some pieces off. And you just play around. There's only so many options to go with. And then finally, I would probably settle on filling this in like this and that leaves what left over we'll use the yellow I guess at least five pieces right here 
in sort of a smaller gun shape. And that's really the only thing you could have. It's the only possibility. So we take a look. Is that one of the answers? And it absolutely is. It's C. Okay. So a little bit of trial and error, a little bit of casework, and a little bit of spatial awareness gets us an answer without too much difficulty. We have one more question to go in part B. That'll be question 20. Give that a try, and then feel free to join me. I'll see you guys there.